Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Alive, surging up from the depths of the sea on a tidal wave of terror to wreak vengeance on mankind. <laughs> Don't call it a... Mothra. Don't call it a... Chidora. Don't call it a... Rodan. Don't call it a... You got a catchy name for this one? I got Zilla. Don't call it a... Zilla and, uh, M Methuselah? Yeah, Methuselah. Two creatures. Titans, my bad, that you'll never see again in this movie. <clears throat> mm. uh, sorry about that. I had stuff that stuck in my throat. It was making me sound a little deep. Anyways, welcome back to Word of Mouth. This is actually my first official review video, and it's going to be my opinions on Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And I know for a fact you guys like that little 1954 snippet of the original Godzilla, King of the Monsters that I threw at the beginning. Don't lie. I know you liked it. As you saw at the beginning of this video, I put a little snippet of a Rotten Tomatoes score and the critics gave it a 40%. That 40% is absolute bullcrap. You wanna know why, in my honest opinion, why it's absolute bullcrap? Because if you go there and read a majority of those reviews, it's all about there's no story, no story, etc., etc., etc. I'm like, really guys? You go to a monster flick and you want a story? Okay, well, I mean, if you wanted a story, you missed your movie back on, uh, what, the end of April? It's called Avengers Endgame. Just, uh, you might want to go check that one out. That one's got a story. Anyways, you go to a Godzilla movie, you don't go for a story. You go for action. It's all about the freaking action. A Godzilla movie is seriously supposed to be a monster flick. If there's a story involved in it, it's going to be a very minimal at best story. And that's what they applied in this current film. Now I'm going to be dropping some spoilers. So if you don't want to listen on, don't be listening on. In this movie, they kind of started off with what happened back in the original movie of Godzilla 2014. Everything that led up to then, you know, society's trying to repair itself, all this, yada yada, et cetera, et cetera. Now, it leads into a scientific lab. As usual, when it comes to a big giant monster flick movie, there's always gotta be a laboratory involved. This is where Mothra comes in. Mothra is a very elegant titan in this movie. They did a fantastic job with her. It was just amazing. And you wanna know the bonus plus? with Mothra is that the fact that they didn't start off with her and Godzilla fighting. No, her and Godzilla are the king and queen of the monsters. And by the way, didn't know if you knew that, but Mothra is the queen of the monsters. Also, Mothra is, I believe, one of the very few titans that are actually immortal. As long as she lays an egg, she can continue her essence as if she never died. So if she dies in this time, as long as she laid an egg, she's good to go, which is exactly what she did in this movie. So if you didn't catch that egg at the end credits, that's your own fault, not mine. Ghidorah, they did a fantastic job with King Kadora. I don't even know where to begin with. I mean, if you go in and look at all the videos of the old King Ghidorahs with uh, Godzilla and the classic films, they just look pretty tacky, pretty cheesy, and they sound pretty awful. Dude, they nailed it so well with this one. I mean, this just... I, the Netflix Godzilla series, like, it just... Don't get me wrong, Godzilla Earth absolutely amazing but they really really disappointed me when they freaking spit out that god-awful King Ghidorah design like really giant lightning tentacles coming out of an interdimensional black hole this is that King Ghidorah this I don't even know what this is is that a reactor blowing up from a freaking inter what anyways they not only got King Ghidorah down very well in this freaking movie they got his backstory well too don't get me wrong you know they got the backstory kind of right in Godzilla Earth where King Ghidorah is not from Earth and that's true King Ghidorah is not from Earth therefore nothing can affect him on Earth that's why the O2 bomb did not affect him he is a interdimensional alien from another universe another galaxy he pretty much came here to dominate this planet to take over Godzilla Godzilla wasn't gonna let that happen and Godzilla still kicked his ass you know freaking millennia later that's just how the world works in this mind you know that's just that's just how what's gonna happen Rodan on the other hand you know back then it looked like a freaking burnt leathery wrapped bacon of like awful and I don't even know what I, I really don't even know what Rodan was supposed to look like in the past I guess like a very 
very weird looking pterodactyl. Now, Rodan looks freaking amazing in this movie. He, he literally looks like the spawn of hell. That's what Rodan's supposed to be. Rodan's like code word is pretty much the demon of like the demon of fire or fire. Yeah, the demon of fire, something like that. And that's kind of where Rodan gets it. You know, Rodan, Rodan, like pretty much it's all fire with Rodan and it's amazing what they did with him now the now the Titans that they showed very little in this movie were Scylla Methuselah um, behemoth and uh, the other Mutos um, I forget what their real names are Jensen Mushis um, those those actually did make an appearance in this movie now there are what they said in the trailer before uh 17 and counting so this in actually includes godzilla in this movie there is a large number of actual titans coming in and i mean i'm going to show that on the screen here shortly this is a list of all the titans so far that have actually made a minimal appearance whether it's actually full screen or on a computer computer monitor or whatever in this movie and on top of that godzilla leading up into him they did a phenomenal job with how well the story of Godzilla is. Now, this is the story that matters only in this movie. He got hurt by the O2 bomb in the movie, which led him to go into the underground society that happened, you know, millennia ago. And it just was amazing. I mean, no human could really go in there. And, you know, that's that's where, uh, you know, the doctor goes in there and uh, he gives Godzilla like a boost of steroids by nuking him he intentionally did that he sacrificed his own life to bring Godzilla back and man that 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 was pretty much the best thing ever once Godzilla got the juice it was game over Godzilla got juiced and just went havoc completely destroyed King Ghidorah not only that but Mothra sacrificed her life from Rodan. Now, if you actually stayed to the end end of the movie, you'll actually know that uh, the next movie it's gonna be King Kong versus Godzilla because that's pretty. They 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 literally nothing but Skull Island. Like this is legit about the freaking happen. So. For all those people out there that like to think that Godzilla needs to have a story, go watch the old movies, the old ones, all the way leading up to the 2014 films. Do not, I'm not talking about that god awful whatever the hell that was back in 97, 98. Don't watch that one. That one was not, that's not even a Godzilla movie. I don't, that was like dinosaurs in a horror movie. I don't like a try hard horror movie. I don't even know what that movie was even about. Like, wasn't Godzilla the movies none of them really have a story it's just you know stay tuned for the next fight kind of thing it's like so if you go into this movie and you're expecting some kind of story just know that there's very minimal aspect to the to the story that they only are carrying on from what happened in the 2014 movie and then they're trying to push out all the monsters. So that's really the end goal in this movie. They're just trying to focus on all the monsters as much as they can all at one time, which is absolutely freaking amazing. I mean, the, the fact they put so much in on this just to push out as many monsters as they could, that makes a monster flick. And that is why I say, screw the haters. You know, this movie is absolutely freaking amazing. It is everything a Godzilla movie should be. And again, thank you guys for coming in, checking me out. And I hope to read all the comments below of your opinion about this movie. And also, I want you to go ahead and give me your thoughts about what might happen in the next Godzilla vs. King Kong film. Again, this is Word of Mouth, and I'll catch you next time.